if you look around and you, I mean, every woman that you know is strong and kicks ass anyway. Um, like, women are strong, you know, and it doesn't seem like it's illogical to have a woman that kicks butt in a, in a book because we kick butt every day. Absolutely. And that's such a great point because, you, you know, we have people that aren't just girls reading these books and you have, you have multiple audiences reading them. What sort of struggle, what, how do you kind of come up with your characters? Oh, oh, hello again. <laughs> um, the struggles I have is um, I grew up reading, I was reading romance when I was 11 years old. And as an adult now, I kind of look at that and go, oh, that's not a good idea. But I turned into a very strong woman. And, but the struggle I find now is that coming from the damsel in distress kind of motif, sometimes the struggle I have is, is there's a difference between a strong heroine and a bitch, pardon me. And, and I do have heroines that straddle that line, and it's a struggle to keep them maybe on the still likable sort, or at least knocking them down far enough that they learn from it and become less bitchy. Every, every character I write, male or female, has some element of me. They have to have some element of me or I can't get into them. I've got to find that piece of it. It may just be one character trait, but it has to be something in support of the personality for me to truly understand them. I need to write a character. I've got to climb into their skin, see out of their eyes, feel what they're feeling, and I've got to find that piece of it within me. Um, my heroines, many of them are strong to begin with. Many of them don't realize. They're all strong to begin with, but many of them don't realize it. They think they're just average, everyday, I've got a preschool teacher um, who considers herself, and she says that my picture should be in the um, dictionary beside the word average. And she winds up essentially being the strongest in the world. I mean, and I love that, where they, they discover their strength through the story. Um, I, I think that it's easy to see why certain um, genres of books gravitate more towards strong women, but then again, I think they should all be in there because who do we admire? You know, if, if you look around you, if you see a woman being treated by like a doormat, you usually don't think, I want to be just like her. You think, wow, I hope she really gets out of that situation. So um, writing a heroine who's strong doesn't necessarily have to mean physical strength, although it can, especially when you add paranormal aspects to the story. But I think the most important thing is to have a heroine who, even when she falls down, gets up, gets up, gets up, keeps going. And, that's uh, the real strength that I think people want to read about because it's usually what we admire in other people. I don't think any of us want to write superwoman. Mm -hmm. I think we want to write a strong human woman. Mm -hmm. We do put our characters through hell. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if there wasn't, there wouldn't be a story, right? Uh, without conflict, there's no story. Uh, and I, I agree with you that they have to, they will grow through the book and uh, grow stronger. They will surprise themselves maybe. Um, but that's what's inspiring about reading a good book. It's, uh, you, you see the heroine or the hero, they make it through to the end, they conquer the problems, they, they emerge victorious at the end, and that's, that's what's inspiring, because you see that, and maybe you're going through hell too, and you're thinking, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. The heroine in the Chicagoland Vampire series, Merit, um, yeah. Thank you. Um, I kind of a tough go with it. She's made a vampire basically on the third page of the first book. Um, and although brought up in fairly um, generous, wealthy circumstances, um, she's basically been independent her whole life. The romance angle gives me a way to give her a happy ending in the long run, kind of a happiness that I can gift to her, um, but also allows me in each book to set up drama and torture her a little bit. So, um, I mean, as a character device, you really can't get any better than introducing love and all the pitfalls and obstacles that come with it. So.